and tanks for staying with us. Customs intercept live ammunition at the airport. Also on customs reports, customs surpass its revenue target in the first quarter of 2024. Plus, more report. I am Egisema Engineer. Stay tuned. Before you today to launch the National Sengu Window Initiative, a transformative project that will propel our nation's economy to new acts. This initiative, not just a policy, it is a bold statement of our commitment to progress, prosperity, and the well-being of every Nigeria. As your president, I have always believed in the immense potential of our great nation. We are a people blessed with resilience, creativity, and unwavering spirit of enterprise. However, for far too long, our economic growth has been hindered by the complexities and inefficiencies in our trade processes. Today, we say there should be no more. National Good Window is a game changer that will revolutionize the way we conduct trade. By simplifying government trade compliance through a digital platform, we will unlock the doors to economic prosperity and all other opportunities. This initiative will link our ports, government agencies, and key stakeholders creating a seamless and efficient system that will facilitate trade like never before. Imagine a Nigerian where business can save time and resources. Where small enterprises can reach global markets and where the informal e-commerce sector is brought into the fold increasing our tax base. This is the Nigeria we are building with the national single window. The benefits of this initiative are immense. Paperless trade alone is estimated to bring an annual economic benefit of around 2.7 billion US dollars. Countries like Singapore, Korea, Kenya, and Saudi Arabia have already seen significant improvement in trade efficiency after implementing single, implementing single window systems. Window for me, is, uh, since my days as public relations officer, how did it originate? Uh, in 2011, some uh, characters you know, went and they eat uh, uh, the towers in the U.S., and in response to that, the World Customs Community started putting in place a number of measures to ensure the security of the supply chain. But while they were doing that, they felt that they needed to also take measures not to compromise the movement of legitimate trade. So it's quite uh, a dilemma, ensuring that countries are safe without necessarily disrupting the flow of trade. So this went on until uh, 2010, 2011, uh, when the Trade Facilitation Agreement, uh, TFA, was signed. And part of the obligations of the TFA was that countries have to put in place measures that will uh, guarantee facilitation of trade. Uh, part of them include the deployment of technologies and all of that. So single window is one of those tools that you know, signatories to the trade facilitation agreement uh, undertook to deploy uh, for them to facilitate trade, you know, taking into con uh, cognizance all the security threats uh, that are related. I think Femi's question is also related to that. Is it necessarily for revenue? So it is a very important tool for trade facilitation. It's also help us to 
uh, manage revenue but better. I used the term cross-border uh, management earlier. So it's a tool that helps us to get the best of all the worlds, both the discharge of the customs mandate of revenue, anti-smuggling, and trade facilitation. Will it affect uh, revenue targets? Revenue targets are set at the beginning of the year. They are more or less things that should guide what we achieve by the end of the year. There could be things that will happen that will necessitate a revision of this. They are not cast in stone. But like I said, this tool is not necessarily about revenue. They help to enhance the revenue, but they are not entirely revenue. There could be things that will happen in the course of the year. If, for example, our tariff regime changes, uh, if there is a reduction in tariff over some uh, goods item, for example, you will expect that once the tax base drops, it will also bring down uh, the revenue. The John Custom Service has continued to wage war against smugglers all over the country. The Customs Control General made a statement in Abuja when he was speaking about the revenue target by the government given to Customs. This same period, Customs detained 22 suspects and appropriate legal measures are being taken in accordance with the Nigerian Customs Service Act 2023. The third major plan of our mandate in the first quarter is trade facilitation. Trade facilitation remains a central focus of our operations in the first quarter. Despite all the inherent challenges, we have diligently worked towards streamlining processes, minimizing bottlenecks, and optimizing efficiency across our ports to ensure seamless trade transactions. In the first quarter, customs processed a total of 311,492 single goods declarations for imports, which reflects the volume of import transactions handled. This figure, however, indicates a decrease compared to the total volume of 327,491 processed during the same period in 2023 and 403,233 processed in 2022. One of the ways in which we measure our efficiency in trade facilitation is the number of export transactions that we process. During this period, a total of 10,706 single goods declarations were processed in 2024, when we compared it to 9,752 transactions in 2023, this represents a 10.6% growth in exports activities. Notably, a significant portion of this growth occurred in January, with 4,067 transactions processed in 2024, when we compared it to 3,352 in 2023, which uh, marks 29.69% increase. We are particularly interested in the growth of the non-oil ex uh, export sector, and aligning with the priorities of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's less administration and the initiative pursued by customs in recent times. We are unequivocally committed to supporting the actualization of the eight-point agenda of Mr. President. This commitment is demonstrated through both direct and indirect contributions to key areas such as economic growth, improved security, upholding the rule of law, and fighting corruption. Noteworthy achievements include strengthening economic growth through optimal revenue collections, to support government allocations to vital sectors alongside the implementation of efficient trade facilitation measures. Our relentless enforcement officers, particularly those targeted at intercepting prohibited items, are important in enhancing national security. Moreover, we are steadfastly integrating technology across our operations to ensure transparency and accountability, addressing critical aspects of the eight-point agenda of Mr. President. 
Recently, NCS has prioritized food security in response to a presidential directive. This initiative is evidenced by the distribution of food items to vulnerable members of the society, commencing in Lagos and Kanu, and extending to other parts of the country to address very urgent societal needs. We reassure the public that transparency and accountability will remain paramount under my leadership, fostering trust and confidence in the service. In all of this, we are grappling with a number of challenges, and I'm going to share some with you. During the quarter, we encountered several systemic challenges that impeded our ability to fulfill our responsibility effectively. These challenges encompassed issues related to non-compliance with regulations, infrastructure limitations, and a notable decline in cargo throughput evidenced by a 4.89 decrease in the volume of transactions handled during this period. In addition to this, significant fluctuations in exchange rates applied in the customs clearance of consignments posed considerable difficulties to our operations. As per our protocol, the exchange rates utilized by customs in the clearance of goods via the Nigerian Integrated Customs Information System, NICES, is based on the rates as determined by the Central Bank of Nigeria. And in the last quarter, from January to March 2024, a total of 28 rates were directed by CBN. You are watching the program Customs Report. The controller in charge of Zombie has continued to seize goods worth billions of naira for smugglers operating in that axis. The controller also warned some importers and exporters operating in the north zone to follow the later rules on importation of items into the country. It speaks more on the seizures seized by the units in Kaduna. Vigilant in the fight against Magalin. And to say that within the period under review, we recorded a total of 98 seizures of 21 different items, which includes contraband foreign parboiled rice, used foreign shoes, petroleum products, vehicles, and means of conveyance, pastas, macaronis, among others. A particular note was the seizure of 372 bags of offensive rice that were intercepted by the operators of the unit and deposited at Quara Command. Our Eagle Eye officers and men are constantly responding to the ever newer changing tactics of smugglers who deploy ever new methods in concealing smuggled rice in local flour sacks to disguise the smuggled rice as flour. It is also noteworthy that we combine effective intelligence network in combating and exposing these rice smugglers. I said earlier that we remain resolute and will not relent, and there is no amount of trick, blackmail, or orchestrated attacks that will dampen our resolve. I say to those diehard smugglers that sponsor mobs to attack our operatives and all organized to state illegal demonstrations against us that they cannot and will not dis 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 discourage and deter us from carrying out our jobs. It is one of the two options. Either these smugglers turn a new leaf and embrace legitimate trade will have us to deal with and face the consequences. Gentlemen of the press, the summary of the items for the period under review are as follows. 698 bags of foreign parboiled rice, 50 kg each. 375 cartons of foreign spaghetti macaroni couscous. 136 bales of foreign scahan clothing. 715 jerry cans of premium motor separate, 25 liters each, PMS. 65 jerry 
cans of four refined vegetable oil, 25 liters each, or a row. 12 units used vehicles, four units of means of conveyance, <coughs> nine cartons chaka pain extra, 50 milligram, 425 and a half cartons of foreign milky creamer and milk powder, 136 pieces of foreign used tires, and others. Other items include protein bags of foreign tiger nuts, 151 cartons of unregistered alcoholic beverages, 1,314 sachets and 68 cartons of foreign butter, 40 expired foreign general goods, 120 cartons of foreign ever soap, 170 bags of sodium sulfate, 25 kg each, 20 cartons of foreign dye powder, 600 bags of Sokoto cement used in concealing of items above O, P, and Q, 379 assorted general goods intercepted at the runoff for being improperly exported. 400 cartons of unregistered organic fertilizer. The total duty paid by DPB of these items, 769,465,972 naira and 46 kobo. The federal operation in this zone A has seized on max goods worth 2.8 billion naira for smugglers operating in the western zone. The customs area controller said that the unit recovered 305 million naira in the federation account, so that a total of 21 trucks load of rice was also intercepted by its men. He said that over 3,000 pieces of used tires, 330 bales of used clothing, and drugs were intercepted by the unit. He wants some Nigerians to avoid smuggling because it is a criminal offense against the state. Frozen poultry products, this is under import prohibition list. Whatever that is not good for our health, it behoves on our government to put it under ban. This is yet another drug that has no label, no date of manufacture, no date of expiry, no NAVDAC registration. It was intercepted inside a vehicle at Ijebude. The controller also said that citizens must avoid smuggling because its use only poses legal and safety risks, but also undermine the well-being of society as a whole. By complying with all relevant regulations and laws, importers and traders can steer clear of costly fines and penalties that may arise as a consequence of non-compliance. It enhances a good reputation demonstrates reliability and trustworthiness, ensures smooth customs and other statutory regulatory clearance procedures. This, in turn, reduces delays and potential disruptions in the supply chain. Interestingly, compliant traders are eligible to access the services preferential treatment through preferential trade programs such as the fast track, the advanced ruling, and the authorized economic operators program. It is a program that allows all compliant economic operators involved in the international movement of goods to apply for AEO status, while the focus is maintained on high-risk operators and the facilitation of legitimate trade. Seizures recorded in the first quarter of 2024 were due to violations of various sections of the Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023, the federal government import and export prohibition guidelines, while vigorously and relentlessly executing our anti-smuggling campaign. A total of 206 seizures were made, worth the sum of duty paid value of 2 billion 877 million. 49,777 naira, 29 kobo. Suspects were arrested, 24 were released on administrative bail, while five are still in detention. The smuggling can lead to compromised personal safety because it exposes individuals to various risks that include 
dealing with dangerous individuals. The Nigerian Customs Service has tested live ammunition and tomato drugs, including Duncan Scale, Gentiles, worth 5.7 billion naira at the airport. The Customs Area Controller said that the seizure of live ammunition was a joint examination with Safe Security Service and NDLA. He won travelers against the portion of drugs and other items not approved by government into the country. The command also made a revenue target of 45 billion naira in the first quarter of 2024. The Customs Area Controller said the command remains committed at ensuring it collects the much needed revenue for the Federation. He said that the revenue collected is to further ensure the safety and well being of citizens through combating smuggling to the lowest standard in Nigeria. The portion of this item is not uh, actually um, prohibited, but it requires a permit, a CITES permit. So, and since I don't have a permit, of course we have to intercept it, yes. Uh, even the owners did not know that they needed a permit, but on a costing, we told them they needed a permit. Since they could not um, produce, definitely we have to arrest the item. Use the opportunity to appeal to traders at the airport to follow due process while bringing in consignment into the country. Us, in Nigerian Customs Service, Mutala Mohammed Airport Command, we remain resolute at ensuring that we collect the much needed revenue for federal government and also ensure the safety and well-being of citizenry through carbon smuggling to its BRS minimum while facilitating legitimate trade and export trades. In terms of revenue generation, despite these challenges, Mutala Mohammed Airport Command has surpassed its record for the first quarter of 2024 when compared to what was collected the previous year. In the first quarter of 2023, the command collected 21 billion, 362 million, 752,676 naira and 44 kubu. While in the corresponding period of 2024, the command records 45 billion, 232 million, 483,528 naira, and uh, zero kobo. This represents an appreciable increase of 23 billion, 869 million, 730,851 naira and 56 kobo, depicting an increase of 101.7%. In an area of anti-smuggling, similarly, Coma has recorded an appreciable increase in its anti-smuggling drive, which led to the interception of 50 pieces of live MM live ammunition, which was jointly discovered in the examination with, um, with NDLA, that's National Drug Law Enforcement Agency officials. The number of first quarter seizures on the command includes 1,164 kg of sea cucumbers, 58 kilograms of donkey genitals, and 17 packages of tramadol. The cumulative duty paid value of the aforementioned items stood at 5,794,099,000 371,000 Naira and 119 Kubo. I'm here today to introduce to you the new area controller. Haven't served my one year, three months at MMAC. Uh, I wouldn't take too much of your time. Uh, we want to thank God for his numerous mercies, blessings and direction, protection, at least for steering through this uh, the command within the period under question. It has not been quite easy. Not it hasn't not it has not been not been without challenges. But to the glory of God, we have been able to surmount a lot of challenges and we have come out strong. I recall when I came in here, the revenue target was about 225 million. 
daily and shortly I was expected that it should be increased to like 100 million more or 50 million. But what I was given was, was um, 400 million. And I told my lieutenants and I pondered, how can we make 400 million daily? But to the glory of God and hard work, we all sat down and at the end of the year, we were able to make about 90.2% of that revenue target. Because an environment that there is no peace, there can't be any progress. Sometimes we may feel we are old. Younger officers could come and give us advices. Please, controller, please take the advices and filter, take the good ones and discard the, the, the wrong ones. Yeah, because peace is very paramount in this command. You know, this command is not like the conventional port you know. The things, the way they do their things there is different. In my 32 years in Nigerian Customs Service, I've never walked in the airport. I discovered this place a different terrain entirely. But to the glory of God, we've been able to weather through the storm and understand the people. And at the end of the day, we are cruising. Yeah. And by the grace of God, I was uh, the coordinator of uh, revenue recovery, as you can see, before now. And um, let me first appreciate my brother here, the outgoing controller, okay. for his tenacity, Nigeria capability. <laughs> you know, we all know this environment, uh, you know, it's, though it's a known place to me, but this is not my first, I was the team manager of a custom intelligence unit some couple of years ago as an assistant controller, and I think I was there for about two or three years. I know yes, the terrain, sir. so I have to appreciate your managerial capability because that is one. Peace is very, very important. And uh, not only that, vis-a-vis -vis the revenue, we can see that uh, things are really moving well, and uh, that is due to your cooperation, which I request not only than 100% as well, yeah. because I will build on existing structure, and by the grace of God, I wish to surpass it. Amen. 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 And definitely you should know that it's going to be good to go from when Equator knows that you people are performing and it cannot be the area control alone. It starts to be cooperation from all of you. And then not only that, please and please. As a customer officer, we must understand one thing, nitty gritty of the job. We need to understand the job very, very well. You know, leave the rank. You can go down the ladder because some of, some of these new officers, they could be more, you know, aside from experience, you can tap from them and become a specialist. Please let us try and know that. So that you won't provide the AC as a controller. So that you won't go and start releasing what is not uh, supposed to. Please let us read the books and maintain discipline as well. And by so doing, the sky, is the, sky is the limit and go with Air Force. Decisions by the Controller General of Customs, Bashir Adiwale Adini MFR. This ceremony marks a transition, a passing of baton from one capable leader to another ensuring the seamless continuity of our operations and the preservation of our mission objectives. It is a moment of reflection, appreciation, and anticipation as we embrace change and stride forward together as a unified force. May I convey my sincere gratitude to Almighty Allah for, the, for this grace, for this moment, and the CGC for the opportunity accorded me to serve as the area controller of Guan Area Command. I equally thank him, his management team, for other assigned responsibilities. Before I proceed, allow me to briefly provide an overview of my tour of duty as a controller, area controller of Uguan Area Command. Adhering to our mandate 
of revenue generation, suppression of smuggling, and facilitation of trade. The lives of individuals and officers and men is, is sacred. We decided to have an approach to witnessing the previous slogan of Ogu One Era Command in Diriko as a battlefield that was later to turn to Ogu One in Diriko as a peaceful command. Kali engaged in laudable corporate social responsibilities. This achievement would not have been possible without the unwavering support of the NCS headquarters. The dedicated officers of above, the, de the dedicated effort of our officers and men, and the collaborative effort of our critical stakeholders. I urge all our officers and men to intensify their efforts and extend maximum support and cooperation to the incoming administration to sustain the command's performance. Similarly, I appeal for the steadfast support of our critical stakeholders for the new era controller. One command. I offer you our sincere congratulations on your appointment and officially welcome you to the command. Your appointment speaks volume of your capability, our capabilities, and we have every confidence that you will lead with integrity and excellence as you assume your new responsibility. I'm here today taking over as the era controller, courtesy of the Sheikho by our headmaster. We call him headmaster because he's a unique person. And since he came on board, Nigeria Custom Service profile has been rising by the day. I want to specifically congratulate my predecessor. Though we all know that wherever you put him, he will always excel. So what he has done here, I know is just a child's play to what he's going to do in Kaduna. <laughs> Kaduna is a wider scope. At least, we have nothing less than 10 states under his command, and it's a volatile place. So we call him small man with big engine. So that is why the CGC is deploying the small man with big engine to tackle that side of the country. And I cannot wish you less success than what you have done. That work will definitely speak for you. I want to equally thank all my colleagues, the this is to the last man standing in custom, the CA3. Uh, the cooperation you have extended to my class captain, should you call him extended to me. He has even told you to even do more for me than you have done for him. And I'm sure you are going to do that. Uh, I want to call on our friends, the press. Uh, without you, press, all our achievements will be nothing. Nobody will know what you have done and what, know what you have done. I want to specifically appeal to you to reach out to us before you publish articles or before you give out news to the people. According to critical stakeholders, she continue to fight against importation of uncustom goods into the country. Just for that of this week's edition of the Program Custom Support, we brought you a report where the contract job of customs continue to speak on revenue generation of the customs throughout the year. For me, it is a thanks for watching.